Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Minerais Beach series. I want to do my monthly spread in my A5 wide memory planner. So if you guys missed last month, this is how it turned out for June. I used the Mason floral kit from my shop and this is definitely one of my favorite, favorite spreads. I just love the colors. The florals are amazing and I feel like there's a lot going on. It looks really full, but it's still, you know, legible. I can see everything at a glance. So I am so thrilled with how this turned out. I always use the inserts from my shop. These are in the A5 wide size. So if you guys are interested in the stickers or the printables in my shop, you guys can always use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. So for this month, I do want to use the Lighthouse kit. So again, this is a kit from my shop. With the monthly kits in my shop, there are four pages. So this is the first page here. And I went with a beautiful kind of sky pattern there on the top and my kits always come with a Sunday start to match the inserts from my shop and also they come undated. So you can purchase this sheet right here. This is the large monthly scripts and these are made for the A5 wide size so you can use these to date your month. So that just allows you to use this kit anytime you want. Then also on this page, you get mini versions of the bow icons from my shop. Um, they are mini so that they can fit on the little labels here. Um, the ones on the quarter sheets are a little bit bigger than this one. So just letting you know about that. And then you have some payday flags here. On this page, you have some thin washi, scallop boxes, corners and page flags. You have some bill dues there and you got some labels. And then on this page, you get your full boxes. You have some full boxes that you can actually write on. So I added the little whited out square there for you guys to write in. You have some half boxes and of course your date numbers. And then here you have a bunch of labels so that if you want to write down your important events or do some color coding or even budgeting in this planner, then you can. And then this down here is actually scallop trim so if you guys want to mark off the days that are not included in the month that is a great way to do it and then of course you do get the decorative sidebar so I went with the beautiful lighthouse in the background and then right there you guys can see the beautiful fashion girl whom I'm in love with I think she's so gorgeous so I love all the colors of this kit I think it's just going to be so great for July so once again, you guys can find this kit lighthouse in the shop. So let's get started with putting down the date covers first. So you guys may have seen another monthly plan with me that I did in my Erin Condren Daily Duo. I am trying that planner out for the second half of the year. I wanted to see if it would work because I really like how structured the daily pages are. I think it'll be really great for my work as an author. So I'm giving that a shot and I did film a plan with me video on it. So if you guys missed that, then definitely check it out. So that was one July monthly spread that I did. And that one is more for forward planning and then this one I'm going to be using more so as a kind of like memory keeper. So it'll have a few important dates, but also some memories there. Since this is for July, I'm just going to add the July script on top there. Really cute. I love that. And I'll just save this for August when I want to use it again. So I do have my A5 Daily Duo here, and this is the spread that I was just talking about with the plan with me. So I'm going to use that as kind of like my reference point. Thankfully, this month I didn't have any cancellations, so everything kind of went smoothly for me. So I'm going to go ahead and start to put down these really cute date numbers. So July started on the Friday. This month it's a beautiful kind of like purpley color, which I love. I feel like it actually kind of matches really well with the bloom kit that I use 
in my A5 du Daily Duo. So I might do that and kind of have them not match exactly, but you know, it would be nice if the colors kind of coordinated too. So that might be something cool to try if you have a couple of monthly calendars. So now that we are approaching August, I'm starting to think about Hobonichi. It may seem a little bit early for a few of you guys um, because the release for the new Hobonichi actually is in September, September 1st. But I do have some personal things that are going to be happening in September, so I know that I'm going to be busy. and. Since the Hobonichi printable release is always such a big task, it's a huge project for me, um, I want to get started on it early. So I've actually started working on the full page stickers for the Hobonichi already. So all of the designs are actually done. All I'm doing now is formatting it and then also creating the listings. And I will probably gradually release them instead of doing like one huge release on September 1st because like I said I am going to be really busy during that week and so um, having the release while I have all my family things going on is probably going to be difficult for me to handle so I'm planning ahead and I'm hoping to release those um, throughout the month so hopefully you guys um, will be excited about those releases. I think the design for 2020 three that we came out with is really, really cute. I think a lot of people will like it. We are still gonna have the same um, colorways, so like a pink version and also a gray version. The reason why we do that is because we actually do have a lot of men who purchase the printables, so it's really important for us to also accommodate them. So the designs are always kind of gender neutral. We try to make it fun for everyone, but also keep it not so girly, I guess you can say, so that the men who do purchase also can be happy with the designs, you know? So I have already started on the cousins and I'm going to be working on the weeks next. Um, and then lastly, I think we'll do the A6. So that being said, I would love for you guys to let me know in the comments what printables you must have in the shop. So I want to know if you guys love the calendars or do you prefer all the trackers that we do. So let me know because that gives me an idea of what to bring to the shop next year because I am thinking about discontinuing a couple of the designs so that it's not so such a big undertaking for me because with these printables there's about a hundred of each design so there are three sizes so that's like 300 so it's a lot for me to do and there's only me who's doing it so it's a lot of work so if I can kind of cut down the load um, definitely let me know which ones you would like to stay in the shop and which ones you don't really use Okay, so after all that, let's get down to business here. Um, I do have these four full boxes that I think I want to use. I could probably put them up here, but I do have this extra box here that I wouldn't have enough for. So instead of doing that, I think I'll just go with the scallop trim. So that's why I give you a couple of different options um, so that you can kind of play around with it. You can even use this trim to mark off like vacation days or days that you um, are out of the country or traveling or something like that. Um, it's really really versatile. So all I'm gonna do is just take that across here and I just love the scallop detail because it matches the rest of the kit and also my inserts. So you can use this kit in other planners like the Erin Condren if you want to. You may just need to kind of adjust things a little bit because they are made specifically for the inserts in my shop but I do try to make them quite universal. So I have a work event here on this day so I'm going to mark that down with one of these floral boxes and it's also actually Canada Day on the first too. So I want to also mark that down and I think I will go with one of these. And then I will write in the box my work event for the day. 
So on Tuesday, I do have a sale for a couple of my books. So I'm, again, I'm just going to lift this guy up and use a larger box because that's a big event for me. So I like for it to stand out a little bit. So I'm gonna mark that down and then actually the following day is my deadline for my next book. So again, I'm gonna be doing the same thing using a large box for that to mark down that my book is going to be at the editor this day. It's also my mom's birthday on the 8th and I know that we're going to be doing some family stuff this day so I am going to block that day off because that is going to be a major family day. I actually don't have too much going on on the week following that so I just have the one event on the Saturday so I'm going to use another small floral box to mark down the event that I'm taking part in on that day. Once again on the 19th I have another two books on sale so Resurrection and Driving Wild are going to be on sale. So those are my kind of big events that I have going on for work, I think. I do actually also have the formatting deadline. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think I will move this one to here. And then we'll use a different box for this because this is more of a personal event rather than a work event. And I kind of want all my work events to look the same visually so I'm gonna mark it the same way so let's pull up this guy so on the 25th it's actually my final deadline for the book the real thing is going to be formatted so I want the work events to look the same and my personal ones to look the same so for my personal event, I think we'll use maybe this yellow scallop instead because I feel like the yellow stands out a lot, so that might be nice. So we'll go back to putting that there. And then lastly, I do have a renewal this day. I think that might be my only renewal this month, which is Kind of crazy so I'm going to use maybe this orange color I haven't used too much orange so we will pop that down here so I'm just going to go ahead and write down everything that I have going on so like I mentioned all of these bigger boxes are my big work events um, Nirvana and more than this on sale and then the real thing is going to the editor this day so that's a major deadline so there we go and then this day is my mom's birthday and then I already wrote that one down and then this day I have two more books on sale so Resurrection and Drive Me Wild Again, if you guys are interested in my books, you can find them all on Amazon. And I actually have signed copies of my books on my main shop. So that's actually where you can get signed copies of my books right now if I don't make it to a signing in your area. So if you live outside of Canada or the US, this might be a good option for you to pick them up if you like. Um, and then I also have a renewal, so I'm just going to write that down in this box here. Okay, so now that we have all of those put down, um, I do want to put down my paydays, which I normally do. So I'm going to grab this sheet right here, and we're going to mark them down on the Mondays. So I like them kind of like up high like this, so that if there is something else going on that day, it's not kind of in the way so for example on my deadline I can still mark down the payday and have it there but not taking up space so we have that I'm also going to be using some of the icons here so I'm going to use the little notepad here for my editor and then I also want to 
put the birthday cake. We'll pop that here for my mom. And then I also want to mark this down. So let's see, what can I use for that? Maybe the clock, because that's a deadline as well. So let's mark that down. And then next up, I do have these gorgeous full boxes that I definitely want to use. So I'm going to actually pop a few of these down and we'll use that to kind of decorate the area a little bit. So um, I'm going to kind of scatter them about on the days that I don't really have anything going on. So I think these are so pretty. Um, I just love the colors of this kit. And if you guys are a fan of this kit, there's actually a weekly kit, a vertical weekly kit that kind of matches this. So you guys can also find that in the shop if you guys are interested in it. I actually quite like matching my weekly kits with my monthlies. I think it's kind of cool to coordinate them. So that's what I've been doing with some of my planners. Um, I think I want to add another one here. Let's do one on this week. So on the 13th here. And that just adds a little bit of color and some of the designs. So there we go. And then of course you guys know that I love to mark down the durations of my sales with the thin washi that comes with the kit. So I'm going to do that for this week and I'm going to take it across the week here until the 12th because that's when the sale actually ends. So I'm actually going to scoot this guy up a bit. Okay, and then we have the second strip here that I'm also going to take and we'll end it here on the 12th. And then also I'll do the same thing with the second two strips that run until the 26th. So that just tells me at a glance when this sale ends. So I find it really functional. Okay, so there we go. That is everything so far for this month. I think that might be everything that I need to mark down. Let me double check that I'm not missing anything. I think we're good. So now all I have to do is just add the finishing touches. I'm gonna go in with this gorgeous deco. So this is one of the add-ons that you can purchase in the shop to kind of go with your kit. I love bringing in the deco because I think that is what kind of ties everything together. So I'm just adding a few of those. And what I like to do is kind of put them on the side so that if something does pop up you can always write them down. I'm gonna add the fashion girl here because I think she's just gorgeous so let's add her there. So I think it's turning out really cute. I love all the colors. And I'm just gonna use up this last one. We'll pop it here. So I think that is it. I'm just gonna pop this back into my planner and we can see what the full spread looks like all together. So that's it guys, this is my spread for July in my memory planner. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are interested in this kit or even the printables from my shop, then you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. If you have any questions, you can always leave them down below and I will catch you in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!